Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, September 30th, 2019. Got a free pick in football coming up on today's report. We'll get to that. First, quick note, if you've yet to take advantage of the 33% offer over at DocSports.com, 33% off the rest of the football season, still available. Don't know how long it's going to be available, but it's still available as of Monday. Here's the uh, situation. You get 33% off the rest of the college and pro football season, college football, NFL, 33% off rest of the season. You get them combined. College football and the NFL, you don't have to purchase those separately at DocSports.com. They are together, and you can get 33% off the rest of the season in both. Here's what you do. You go over to the DocSports.com website, click on my homepage, and you'll click on the rest of the football season football season package and then a little code or a little box will pop up and it'll ask you to enter a code word to get 33% off the rest of the football season. Uh, that code is FB season 33, FB season 33 and it's all one word. Again, 33% off the rest of the college and NFL season over at DocSports.com. It's a big Sunday unit wise for us overall, all sports combined and uh, boy, we Cleaned up in NASCAR. We had Martin Truex Jr. over uh, Kyle Larson. Uh, we had the WNBA total easily going over the total of 166. Game one of the finals. They'll be back in action on Tuesday. And uh, we passed in baseball, but we cashed uh, just one and one in Sunday's NFL. But here's the thing. We won the six-unit play. That was the New Orleans Saints. And our loss was the small play, which happened to be a teaser, two-team six-point teaser, which we lost. But a six-unit play on the New Orleans Saints gives us our third prize profit in four weeks unit wise in the NFL so far this season and our second straight Sunday showing a profit. We're not done with the NFL though because we've got Monday Night Football available right now over at DocSports.com. The side between the Bengals and the Steelers is available right now as I speak as you're watching this video and you'll be able to get that side Monday Night Football as we look to cash again on Monday. Here's what we've done over the last nine days. If you've been with us overall, we are up 33.2 five units the last nine days been hot in all sports combined 33.25 units is what we've shown as a profit of the last nine days that's how much you would be up if you were playing our all sports package over at docsports.com so uh, be sure to go check it out the 33 percent off offer for the rest of the college football and nfl season still available on <clears throat> excuse me on monday on today september 30th i uh, wanted to mention also we'll get to the free pick in just a second it's going to be college football there's nothing going on on Monday other than Monday Night Football. And again, the side for us is available over at DocSports.com, a premium pick. Uh, no baseball playoff action until Tuesday. We'll, be, we'll have our play available, by the way, on Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The WNBA Finals, they're off today. They're back in action on Tuesday. And yes, I will be in action looking ahead to Tuesday's card. That play will be available in the WNBA Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. I, miss, I mentioned again another NASCAR winner yesterday. Martin Truex Jr. over Kyle Larson. Appreciate those of you who jumped on board. We are now on a 10-1 run with our last 11 NASCAR races and going all the way back to the 1st of May. Basically, what, five months, we are now on a red-hot 17-4 run in NASCAR and up over $6,200 for $100 per unit betters. Listen, man, you don't have to like to watch it if you like winning money. That's all you got to know about when it comes to NASCAR. It's been something we have been just tearing up since the late 1990s when I first got involved. We'll talk a little bit more about this coming week's NASCAR race, which takes place on Sunday. I have my place posted late Saturday night. Again, more on that as we get closer to the weekend. But as I mentioned, just the one game on Monday, Monday Night Football, premium pick at DocSports.com. So what I'm going to do is first give you some of these line moves from where the Circa opened them on a Sunday afternoon and where they move throughout the night into the wee hours now, uh, Monday morning. And let's do that, then we'll get to the free pick in college football uh, for this upcoming week. But let's start first with South Florida at UConn. If you have the rotation numbers, that's game 3-11, 3-12. South Florida opened up a 15 and a half road favorite at Circa. They were bent down to 11 throughout the afternoon and evening uh, on Sunday. And again, we kind of agree with that movement. I mean, Charlie Strong has turned South Florida into a bit of a mess. And uh, again, the betters are coming in on UConn, plus the points over South Florida. That 
that line dropping four and a half points. Purdue's at Penn State. This game circled Penn State's Rondale Moore. They're all everything wide receiver listed as questionable. Their quarterback, Sindelar, is doubtful for this game. How about this? Circa opened up Penn State 16 and a half. It is currently 25 and a half as I cut this video just after midnight Pacific time on Monday morning. Uh, Ball State at Northern Illinois. The Huskies of Northern Ill open nine. They are down to six and a half. A little tempted to jump in on Northern Illinois this week with the line dropping from nine to six and a half. And uh, not sure we're going to do it yet, but we'll know by Thursday. Virginia Tech at Miami, Florida. Boy, the Hokies are a mess. Justin Fuente, the honeymoon is over already. Uh, Bud Foster's defense. Here's the thing about that. They're going to be, he's going to be leaving the program at the end of the season. But boy, the defense is getting no help from the offense. We saw Duke take him apart on Friday night. That was in Blacksburg. They now go on the road to Miami where the Hurricanes have gone from an eight-point opening line to a 13-point favorite again at home over Virginia Tech. Out West, game 349-350, Pac-12 action. We're going to see how California reacts off that loss at home to Arizona State on Friday night. Very interested in seeing how this team reacts. The offense is not good. The defense is outstanding. But they're matched up against the Oregon Ducks and a high-powered team there. And Oregon opened 14, that number up to 17 and a half. Iowa's at Michigan. The Hawkeyes, they feel they've got a chance to upset Michigan in Ann Arbor. Michigan, obviously, not as good as a lot of people thought they were before watching them getting crushed by Wisconsin. Uh, the Hawkeyes have been getting the action. Circa opened up Michigan 7. It is down to 5 as I cut this video. Uh, moving to game 371-372. Ohio at Buffalo. Going to save this one for my free pick. Uh, Ohio open four. They are currently two and a half. But again, that's my free pick coming up. Uh, Marshall has dropped two points. They open up eight and a half in Middle Tennessee State. The Thundering Herd are now down to six and a half. Arkansas State open five at Georgia State. Arkansas State up to seven. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Down to game 385, 386. One of the few sexy marquee matchups on the board uh, this week. It's Auburn and Florida. Now Auburn, this game opened a pick at Circa and it inched its way up to three, which is where it sits right now. The Auburn Tigers, a three-point road favorite at the Florida Gators. We're going to be talking about that game along with nine others on this week's 10 and 10 that we cut over at DocSports.com Studios every Tuesday afternoon. So I'll tell you where to look for that, tell you a little bit more about that game after we uh, cut the video for Auburn, Florida and 10 and 10 on Tuesday. Michigan State's at Ohio State. That's game 391, 392. How can, how can you be off the bus? Buckeyes after what they did again over the weekend in Lincoln, Nebraska, just destroyed the Huskers start to finish. No fluke. Could have probably scored 65 if they wanted. Ohio State opened 17 at home to Michigan State. They are all the way up to 21 as the Buckeyes have inched up to a full three touchdowns, three extra points over the first uh, 12 hours of betting over at the Circa. And again, the Circa has been opening these numbers and then other books offshore and in Vegas tend to open the numbers a little bit later when things kind of settle down. But got to give the Circa credit for being the first ones to jump in, set numbers, take money. I know the limits are a little bit lower uh, on opening days on Sundays, but again, they're the first one with the guts to go out there and throw an opening number and take action. So hats off to them. So when you see some of these numbers that are off, like maybe Penn State, in that game going from you know 16 and a half to 25 and a half just remember they're opening things up and uh, they are the first ones to take a bet and then of course have to make the adjustments after that all right, real quick note again, Monday Night Football, the side between the Bengals and Steelers wraps up the card for us. It's available right now over at DocSports.com. Don't forget about the NHL package. It's up and posted. You can go grab it right now at DocSports.com because on Tuesday, the NHL starts. The NHL faces off for the upcoming season. We love October, November NHL. Last year, we proved it again. We went 22-11 and 11 with our October NHL October and November NHL, I should say, releases at DocSports.com and made over $3,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Great time to play hockey and bet hockey is when everybody else is thinking about football and Major League Baseball playoffs. Go grab that. You can get it right now at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our free pick. It is a look ahead to Saturday's college football with nothing else going on on Monday besides our premium pick in the Monday Night Football matchup. It's Ohio at Buffalo, as I mentioned, the Bobcats 
Democrats opened about a four-point favorite, went down to two. They're right around two and a half in most books uh, as I cut the video. But uh, listen, last year, Ohio just crushed Buffalo 52 to 17. Last week, the Buffalo Bulls ran up and down the field, had a little problem moving the ball at Miami, Ohio. Buffalo jumped out to a 14 to three lead, looked well on their way to a win and cover. They ran for 309 yards on over six yards per carry, but they couldn't overcome a minus four turnover ratio. Couple of picks, couple of fumbles, didn't force any. Minus four turnover ratio leads to a loss uh, to Miami, Ohio. They're getting two and a half here. This is one of the best teams in college football when it comes to both running the football and stopping the run. They average about 240 yards rushing per game. They give up less than 100 yards rushing per game. As far as the Ohio Bobcats are concerned, 111th in run defense. They give up over 208 yards rushing per game, and they're 116th in total defense as far as total yards allowed per game. So listen, by the way, they're, they're a little mediocre. They're like middle of the pack in college football when it comes to rushing the football. We'll see if that improves as they get into the meat of the max schedule. A little bit unusual to see the Ohio Bobcats uh, with a team that can't run or stop the run. I shouldn't say can't run. Again, they're middle of the pack, but they have a rough time stopping the run thus far. And I think they're going up against the wrong team to fix that problem. So our free pick is going to be the Buffalo Bulls in revenge for the big 35 point loss last year. Great. I, I love jumping on dogs who run for better than 200 yards and allow less than 100 yards rushing. It's just one of those things that I look for year in, year out, and it never seems to get old. So the Buffalo Bulls for this upcoming Saturday is our free pick today day. And again, we'll have uh, more to talk about on Tuesday. We'll start jumping into our NFL recap from this past weekend on Tuesday's report. And that should be available no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here Tuesday morning.